Welcome back to C++ programming tutorial. In this video, we will understand how to write a C++ program to define a student class with following members. Data members are roll number, name, average marks and there are two member functions. One is to read the data and another one is to print the data. Program should read five student information and print the five student information. Now uh, we will start writing the program. First we need to include the header files. So hash include iostream is the header file for C++ program. Then we need to include or the mention the standard namespace that can be mentioned with the help of using namespace std. Once you are done this thing Next, what we need to do is we need to create a class. The name of the class is already given to us. That is class student. And then we need to start this particular student class and then close it over here. Within this student class, we need to mention the different uh, data members as well as the member functions. In this case, there are three data members are given to us as well as uh, we need to add two member functions. Uh, the data members are usually added in private section of the uh, class. So the first uh, data member is roll number. So usually roll number is of type integer. So I will take int rno for roll number. The second one is name. So it is a character array. So I will take uh, scar name of 20. It means that uh, uh, I can store uh, a maximum 20 characters in the name variable. So it doesn't it means that uh, the name can contain maximum 20 characters the third uh, variable is average marks so usually we can have it as a float or double because average means we will get uh, the fraction number so float avg marks so this is the third data member we have added all the three data members now uh, we need to add the member functions so usually member functions are added in public uh, section of the class unless said like it should be as a private or something. Now there are two member functions we need to add. One is to read the data. Uh, that is we need to read roll number, name and average marks of uh, five students. Another uh, member function is to print this student information. So uh, whenever you read something from the keyboard, it doesn't return anything. So we take uh, a wide as a written type here and I will mention read underscore data as the name of the function as well as uh, uh, it doesn't take any parameters over here. So here what I do is I don't define these uh, functions here. I just declare them within the class. I will define these particular uh, member functions outside the class using a scope resolution operator. So right now I just uh, defined uh, declared them here. So another one is uh, uh, print data. So print underscore data again it doesn't take any parameter because it just displays the student information over here so what we did till now is uh, we have created a student class uh, with uh, three private uh, data members roll number name and average marks uh, we have added two uh, member functions read data and print data we have just declared them we have not uh, displayed them now coming back to the uh, definition part of uh, member function uh, they can be defined within a class also and they can be defined outside the class. Now I am doing uh, the uh, second one that is I am defining the member functions outside the class. First we need to write the return type that is wide. Uh, we need to mention what is the class uh, to which this uh, member function belongs. After that the scope resolution operator and then write the member function name. Okay, And then we need to write the definition for it. So the definition goes something like this. I want to read uh, the student information over here. So I should give some message to the user to enter something. I will give enter the roll number. So the user will understand that he has to enter roll number. He will enter that particular thing. Okay. So that is the first thing. Uh, once he enter something uh, uh, through keyboard, it has to be stored somewhere. So I will store that particular thing in RNO. Similarly, I will give one more message uh, that is uh, we can say that uh, enter uh, 
uh, I think the second one is name you can say that enter name so once you enter that particular name uh, it has to be stored somewhere I will use scene statement and then I will use name variable here now coming back to the next one see out here I will ask user to enter the average marks so enter average marks the user will enter the average marks they should be stored in a variable so I will mention those particular uh, variable name as AVG marks now uh, what we did is uh, we have read uh, the three information that is roll number and name and average mark now uh, we will define the second uh, the member function uh, that is to print the data on output screen so we will start with uh, void that is the return type we need to mention the class to which this member function belongs followed by the scope resolution operator and then the member function name here we need to start this particular function and then we need to define it in this case we just want to display the student information so we use only one C out statement to display RNO that is the roll number followed by we will add one uh, tab that is uh, eight continuous spaces after that I want to display the name I will add a name here after displaying name we need to add one more tab then we need to display AVG marks after that I will end this uh, line with end L statement this much is more than enough in this case because I want to display the roll number name and AVG marks of every student what we have read uh, one thing you need to remember in this case I have defined the member functions outside the class while defining the member functions outside the class I need to mention the class name followed by scope resolution operator and the member function name here uh, the same thing goes uh, with print data also I have mentioned the class name to which this print data belongs to followed by the scope resolution operator it is not hard and fast all that we need to uh, define these functions outside the class but this is a usual practice to define the member functions outside the class so that we can make this class definition small and uh, it is very easy to modify at the later stage now once we have done with uh, the class uh, declaration uh, and defining the member functions we need to start with the main part of the program so int uh, you can say that uh, main here and in this main part uh, we need to create an object so that we can call this uh, uh, read data as well as print data now if you want to create a object we need to use the class name followed by you can use uh, the object name if I use std followed by colon I will be able to read and display only one student information but what is required for me is as far as the problem statement is concerned we need to read five student information and print five student information so here what we need to do is we need to create an array of five objects here so this is how actually you can do it now after this uh, what I supposed to do is uh, we need to call that particular read data uh, five times and uh, print data five times so I will do one thing I will take a for statement int i is equal to zero i is less than 5 i plus plus so this will be executed the set of statements will be executed five times here now uh, what I supposed to do is uh, I have to call read data but how to call read data if you want to call a read data I have to use an object of that particular class name of the object is std but I have to mention what is the index here okay because uh, I want to call this particular thing five times so this is uh, std of i dot read data we will call this read data five times in the first case it will be std of uh, zero dot read data second time std of one dot read data and finally std of four dot read data so total, totally five times it will be called so once uh, the read data is called it will go to this particular read function it will ask you to enter the roll number name and average marks once you enter all those particular information everything will be stored here next it will go to std of one of read data that is the second student information third student information fourth student information and fifth student information 
next what we need to do is we need to call uh, the print data so that we can display the student information so we just give one header here like uh, uh, student information is and then i will add endl so that i can add one new line statement uh, after this i will add uh, one header one more header like uh, what i want to display i want to display our no that is uh, roll number after that i will add one tab here after that i want to display name i will add one more tab and then i will add avg marks here next uh, i will close this particular statement with another endl statement followed by this i have to call print data five times so i will add one uh, for statement for int i is equal to zero i is less than five i plus plus here and uh, within this particular for statement i will call that particular uh, print data function five times with the help of indexing that is std of i print data so it will be called five times in this case and finally i will write one statement that is written zero so this will end this particular main part of the program so briefly we will see what we did uh, we started with the header files and then the namespace we have created a class student with the three data members and two member functions we have defined those member functions here and then we call those particular member functions five times uh, so that we can read five student information and we can display five student information over here now uh, we will execute our program and see whether the program is uh, working fine or not uh, we will go to execute and then compile and run i'm using uh, dev c++ for executing uh, this particular program uh, you can go here and select compile and run or you can directly press f11 over here now once you compile and run your program uh, it will ask you to enter the student information if everything is fine here i will enter the roll number as one uh, name as mahesh uh, marks as you can say 55.5 uh, second roll number is two the name is uh, rahul uh, let us say that uh, the marks are 45.9 here the third roll number is three and uh, name is uh, virat um, the marks may be 87.4 fourth roll number the name is you can say sachin uh, marks you can say 99.9 and finally the fifth roll number name you can take uh, uh, ravindra and then uh, you can enter some marks here like uh, 98.89 so we have entered uh, five student information like roll number name and average marks if everything is fine it has to display the information properly here now we can see student information is the roll numbers are displayed here the name is displayed over here and the average marks are displayed because the length of the name is a bit lengthy it is displayed over here but it has displayed properly over here so in this uh, video what we did is uh, we understood uh, how can we uh, use array of objects to read the student information as well as display student information with the help of member functions i hope uh, you understood this particular program if you like the video do like and share this video with your friends also subscribe to the channel for more videos and press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching